want to be police. I want to be police. I want to be police. I feel like I've been here before. Anyways, today I'm here again but with a different purpose to see if I have what it takes to become a police coast guard officer. And here with me today is Senior Staff Sergeant Asri. Hi, welcome to PCG. You are here to experience what it's like to become a PCG officer, right? Yeah, and see if I can become one. So, how do I become a PCG officer? Today, I will give you a crash course. Okay. We will go for the TBHFS. You will do your confidence jump. I'm ready to dive right in. Hey! Isn't this the tactical boat handling and firing simulator? Yeah, you know ah? Of course, uh, this kind of thing. Uh, this simulator mm. allows our officers to experience simulated boat handling mm. on the different sea conditions. Uh, now I will guide you through the hands-on. Alright. Oh, my, my feet cannot uh, touch the ground, you know. That's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you request clearance first. Uh, hello, I'm coming into base now. Uh, okay, granted. Okay. <laughs> This one, this is as close as I'll get to Sentosa Cove. Mm. So, where are we now, sir? Oh, we are now at the boarding and search trainer. Mm. It's a mock-up ship. We are jumping to build your confidence. We'll be ready when there's any evacuation emergency during a fire. Minimally, all PCG officers need to jump at a minimum height of 4 meters. Uh, I'm ready. Okay, let's, let's go. go. I'm scared. My name is Ying Shen Ling and I am a swimmer. Yes, I am ready. Okay, I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, I want to be police. I want to be police, right? Yes. Okay, I'm alone! No! I'm so tired. Yeah, so how, how was the jump? As you can see, I gained about 5 kg in water weight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I think it really helped me with my confidence. Ah. As you all can see, I struggled a bit up there. But uh, I imagine this will be very useful training for PCG officers, especially when evacuation is like, required. Would you like to try the uh, jump at uh, 10 meter? <laughs> you think too highly of me. No, thank you. It's bright but not so early in the evening today. Seven, and I've had a taste of pool water. Now I'm gonna see what seawater tastes like. But let's go meet Azri first. Uh, hi, Excel. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Galbase. Yes. You have done your training, and it's time for the real thing. Real thing as in go out? Yeah, go out. To so tonight you're going to join me mm. and my crew for a 12 hour shift. 12 hours is half of 24 hours, which is really long. Yep. And so if you're ready? No, I'm not ready. I'm very sleepy. Just kidding. Yes. It's yes, okay. Let's get up. <laughs> Uh, okay. Let's go. So we've set sail for the night. So our 12 hours began slightly earlier, but then now we're finally out at sea. Now we are going to uh, commence our 12 hour shift. Mm. Okay, basically, our job is to uh, guard Singapore territorial waters and to prevent intrusion into Singapore. We already stopped this vessel. Mm. We are going to conduct a rummaging checks on it. Okay. Okay, just stay close to me. Okay. Okay, careful. Huh? Master, uh, I'm from uh, Singapore Police Coast Guard. Is this all your crew here? Yes, my crew. Okay, my officers is here on board to conduct checks on your boat. Uh. Yes. Okay, so he finds it. Oh, found it. Good job. You are done here. Okay. Good. You found uh, the item that I had. Uh, we are settled here. We can go down for further. Okay. okay. Gun. 
We already completed the checks on this boat. Mm -hmm. mm. Good job. You found all the items which was hidden. All three. Okay. But I got lucky with this one. <laughs> 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 so this is part of like the PCG's main job scope, like to proactively deter and detect crime out at sea. Yes. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's about three fifteen a.m. in the morning. Uh, I'm actually feeling pretty tired now, but then like, the rest of the officers they're still at station and they're still keeping a lookout. It's been like, a long Jurong Island. about 6.45 so a few minutes to 7 Tadang! in the past few hours I was nodding off and of course the boat can't captain itself the crew is obviously still awake so yeah it's not easy having to stay alive, like, alive and awake for 12 hours straight to look into the darkness uh, and to watch out for lights yep it's not Good morning everyone, it's about 7 and while we were sleeping, this guy and his colleagues and crew was protecting our waters. Uh, if I sound like I just woke up, it's cause I probably did. <laughs> I couldn't stay awake, but this guy and his crew, they were all like staying awake the whole time. I think we also attended an incident, which I later realised was a simulation. Yeah, uh, actually the points leading up to the discovery of the item, it felt really intense and uh, very real because everyone else looked so solemn, everyone played their part very well. Yeah, I think the experience is quite, uh, it's quite overwhelming to have to find uh, like little things like this in such a big ship. So yeah, I don't think it's easy. Anyway, so you said that you were what, doing this for 21 years? Yep, 21 years. So why do you do this? <laughs> And how do you do this? How did why did I do this? Yeah. Oh, uh, I feel that when I'm keeping Singapore safe, it's also keeping my own family safe. So far, I've seen you uh, did your assessment. You still have the potential if you <laughs> if you are interested to become a police woman. Police coast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to be police woman. Yeah. But I'll seriously consider being in the coast guard. <laughs> But I imagine no night shift is easy. So yeah, no maybe it's just. I just have to be more resilient. Thank you for all the time and patience yeah. you've offered me. I'm still not very confident about the jump. But, but you did it. I will still do the confidence jump. <laughs>